Hi friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So quick little disclaimer for episode two of this series. We're going to be doing a complete voiceover for today's video because the day that I filmed this video, I woke up with absolutely no voice and I'm now just finally getting my voice back. So if you hear a little crackling, just please ignore that. So with that being said, I thought I would do this setup, I guess you can say, for this video a little bit differently, and we're just going to go right into Kyla's classroom and talk about phase two of your menstrual cycle, which is the follicular phase. But if you haven't already, make sure you go watch episode one of this series where we talk about what happens to your body during the menstrual phase, and I show you what I eat and how I train during that phase as well. All right, so now let's talk about what happens during your follicular phase. So your follicular phase is the phase that begins right when you stop bleeding and right before you ovulate. So this is considered days 8 through 13 of your cycle. And during this phase, your hormones begin to rise again. So if you guys watch episode 1, the menstrual phase, during that phase, your hormones drop significantly. But when you finish your period and and in your last day of your period, your hormones then begin to rise. And then that means our body is preparing for ovulation, which means it is releasing an egg. So with your hormones rising, your energy levels begin to rise as well. And our immune system is at its strongest. What I totally forgot to mention in the last episode is that your menstrual phase is considered the winter phase. If you guys watch that episode, then you understand why it's considered the winter phase. But the follicular phase is called or considered the inner spring phase. So if you think of spring, you think of new beginnings and, you know, eggs, which, you know, you are creating and releasing an egg soon. So this is considered the inner spring and you want to also kind of like align your nutrition with this as well, which we'll get into next. So due to the levels of estrogen increasing, you are more insulin sensitive, which means carbohydrates are used more efficiently, which is great for those high intensity workouts. Studies also say incorporating probiotic rich food is of course going to help support your gut, but also help promote healthy estrogen levels. Also, going back to referring to the inner spring title of this phase, I guess you can say it is recommended to eat light and fresh foods to help with digestion as our metabolism is slower. So again, when you think of spring, you think of lots of, well, I personally think of like spring mixed salads, fruits and vegetables, and just again, light and fresh foods to support this phase. Also, if you think about it, your body just went through an intense internal process and you honestly, let's be real, you bled a lot. So it is very important to just replenish your body post bleed to support, of course, your body and your hormones, but also follicle development as ovulation is coming. Lastly, let's talk about movement during your follicular phase. So as your hormones and your energy is increasing, you will find it easier, aka you will actually enjoy HIIT exercises and or cardio-based styled workouts. So this can look like going on a run for 30 seconds, stopping for 30 seconds, and doing that for like 20 to 30 minutes, or even, you know, weightlifting. If you want to do lightweight, high reps with low rest periods, this is great during this phase as well. So with cortisol being lower and estrogen being higher, this is again a prime time to make the most of your workout. You want to take advantage of that bump in energy. So again, your energy is increasing. You just finished your period. You feel so good. And also around this time, a lot of women feel like they are more creative. They want to try something new because, again, this is considered the inner spring. So with spring, there's a lots of new beginnings. So this is, again, a perfect time to try something new. So try a new workout class. Try a new workout on YouTube. So take advantage of this phase. And, again, if you look back in the nutrition segment of Kyla's classroom, this is also a perfect time because your metabolism is slower or lower and you can really utilize those carbs, aka energy. 
However, as always, you want to listen to your body. Some women will feel that energy spike right when their period ends, but some women might take a couple days. So just listen to your body when you feel that energy spike and you feel like you can work out do those workouts. But if you still feel a little bit tired and your energy is very low, don't push it. Don't go against the grain or don't go against your hormones. And just listen to your body. So now I'm going to be showing you what I eat and how I personally train during this phase. So before I had breakfast, I had some warm lemon water and warm lemon water has many, many benefits ranging from aids in digestion to supporting liver detoxification to being high in antioxidants and vitamin C. So really supporting and replenishing your body post bleed. So for breakfast, I was craving something very dessert-like, very sweet, but also something that's going to be very light and fresh again to support my body during this phase. So I decided to make a smoothie bowl. So with my smoothie base, I have strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, bananas, kale, and spinach. And then I topped it with some nuts and granola, some coconut, and some dark chocolate chips. So it is jam-packed with nutrients that are just going to help support and replenish my body post bleed but also has a perfect balance of fats carbs and protein and I also added some two sausage links that my husband actually found at Costco which also has very clean ingredients so that was very yummy and plus it doesn't hurt to have a little bit more protein especially when you are weightlifting and trying to build and maintain muscle also, if it isn't obvious already, we are going to the beach today, which is so exciting because my energy is finally up and I just want to get outdoors and just be in the sun and in the ocean. So I guess you could say this is what I eat in a day at the beach too. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> So for lunch, I prepped these chicken salad sandwiches and it was honestly so refreshing because it was very cold from the cooler and it also has celery and green apples inside of it. So I'll have a link down below to the recipe, but it was very yummy. And I also added some Siete nacho chips. It is like a healthier version of a Dorito along with my favorite kombucha, hum kombucha. And like I mentioned earlier, it is very important during this phase to incorporate some probiotic rich foods like kombucha. So on our way home from the beach, we had these little snack packs that I made. It has the same exact trail mix as the previous video, so episode one of this series, and it just has a whole bunch of different nuts and seeds, but most importantly, it has pumpkin seeds. So if you want to learn more about seed cycling, definitely look it up, but pumpkin seeds are really good during this phase because it helps improve estrogen levels while preventing excess estrogen, and no one wants excess estrogen and pumpkin seeds are high in zinc which also helps support progesterone production and then with the kiwis it's going to be really high in vitamin c and antioxidants as well to again support my body during this phase post bleed 
So there is nothing better than a post beach workout and then a post beach and workout shower. There is nothing better. Anyways, for today's movement, I decided to do something that is low impact, but also going to definitely make me feel the burn. So lately, I've been really into incorporating some at-home Pilates workouts with my weightlifting at the gym, and I feel like that has been really, really good for my body, and I've been seeing amazing results. Also, to be completely honest, your girl has absolutely no body weight strength, which Pilates has definitely been game changing for me, but also very humbling. Let's just say that. So Pilates is also very good during your follicular phase. Most importantly, during the earlier phase of your follicular phase, if that makes sense. So the days right after you bleed and your hormones aren't just quite up there yet, Pilates is going to be amazing because it's not going to be high impact. It's going to be low impact, but you'll definitely feel the burn and get a good workout in. So I just did a follow along upper body and core Pilates workout with Move with Nicole on YouTube. I absolutely love her channel. I will have it linked down below to the one that I did. But if I'm not doing an at-home Pilates workout in my follicular phase, I will be in the gym doing a high rep, low weight workout. So I will definitely still stick to my weightlifting workout routine in the gym, but during my follicular phase and my luteal phase, which you'll see in two weeks from now, I like to decrease the weight. So I won't go as heavy. I like to do lightweight, high reps, and just really work on my endurance, my form, and my cardiovascular health as well. So if I'm not doing a Pilates at home workout like today, I will definitely be in the gym weightlifting, but with lower weight and higher reps, and possibly depending on how I feel, shorter rest periods. So for dinner, we had some soy-free teriyaki chicken. And the reason why I emphasize on soy-free is because there are some studies that say that soy does negatively affect your hormones and can possibly cause hormonal imbalances and possibly fertility issues. So again, take what I say with a grain of salt. I will have some links down below to some articles if you want to read more about it, but I do try to avoid soy for the most part. Obviously, it's inevitable in some recipes and meals, but I do try to avoid it. And so far, my body has been really liking it. So I just paired my teriyaki chicken with some brown rice and some green beans. So that is everything that I ate in a day during my follicular phase. Comment down below if you enjoyed today's video or more specifically, if you enjoyed this style of video compared to episode one of the series. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next two phases and I will talk to you or see you in my next video. Bye guys.